Now, as mentioned in the introduction, the multidex is a list of indexed pages, which indexes all the information held within your notebook. So for instance, here we have an option to look at all the text that's been indexed, a page for capitalized words. So any proper names that you have within the documents can be found easily from this particular page. Let's just go back to the contents page and have a look at some of the other options. So an index of all the numbers, all your internet addresses, all the phrases that have been highlighted, uh, keywords and stickers used within the notebook, to-do items, attachments, discarded attachments, creation dates, change dates, due dates, and super find results. Now super find is something that's generated by the inspector. So if we open up the inspector and go to this end item here. Now the super find is a way of creating a complex query on the data held within your notebook. So you can enter a search term, you can search by keywords and stickers, by date, by priority, by action item status, and also by highlighting as well. And once you've built your complex query, just click find and the results will appear within the super find results page. Once you have your notebook and you want to share it with the world, there are different ways of sharing. Uh, options are all under the file menu. Now you have the option to export just the contents of your notebook in different file formats. So for instance, we have text files, uh, RTF files, document files, OPML, and also some specific notebook formats as well if you want to share your documents with other notebook users. Uh, another option, of course, is to just print your notebook. So if we go down to File Print and select Save as PDF, that will enable you to generate a fully featured PDF file complete with any hyperlinks built in that you can send to other people, either other Mac users or people on the Windows platform to share your information. Now, the other option is to export your notebook as a complete, fully functioning website. Two options. One, you can export to disks, so you can export to a local folder, and then you can either burn that to a CD or DVD and pass it along, or you can take the folder contents and publish that to the web using your own file transfer mechanism. Or you can go direct to the web by using this option here. So if we say to the web, now you can export either to mobile me or to any other ISP that supports FTP or SFTP. And after exporting, we'll open the site in a browser window. So we'll just say export. Okay, and there we have our published notebook. So no multidex, um, we don't get the index pages on the web page where everything else is there. If we go to our contents page, our first section, uh, these controls all work on the web page. I can go to the iPod Nano page. There's my text annotation and uh, the diagram that we put in. Uh, let's go to the next page, which gives you my to-do list. Again, including the voice annotation embedded within the web page itself. And then we'll just go back to contents. So a nice simple way to publish your information using Circus Pony's notebook directly to a mobile me website. Now, if you do make some changes to your notebook and want to re-export to the web, you don't have to upload everything again. Basically, all you need to do is go to File, Export as a website, and now we can use Export Changes. So just those pages that have changed will be exported. If you want to export to a standard ISP and use just a standard hosting account uh, under Export 2, you can select either FTP server or even SFTP server, which is a secure FTP transfer mechanism. We'll go back to FTP server. Just fill in your server name, your username and password on the server and the port number. Now, if you find you do have a problem uploading using these standard settings, try just leaving the port number off. That sometimes fixes uh, FTP problems.